Hey out there YouTube, uh, we just finished day one of the 2015 NAMM show and I've got some highlights for you in a couple seconds highlighting the um, new Line 6 uh, Firehawk floorboard effects pedal and it's a midline effects pedal that's right in between the Amplify FX100 and the Pod HD 500X it's right there um, in between combining the, kind of the best of both worlds. It doesn't have quite all the pro features of the 500X, but it's definitely a step up from the FX100. Uh, you'll see basically all the details here uh, in the upcoming presentation, but uh, it's basically what a lot of us have been waiting for um, to come out from Line 6 ever since the introduction of the Amplify technology. Um, additionally, uh, they showcase the new Variac standard, which is basically all the same internal guts as the Variacs, um, but in a, a body uh, guitar built by Yamaha in kind of a Strat style. There's no, uh, they don't have multiple body styles, at least not yet, but it's kind of a Strat style built by Yamaha, so you know it's good quality, uh, but all the same Variax HD guts that are in the JTV models. So I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, check out the presentation and if you get a chance uh, come up to the NAMM show next time if you didn't make it out this time and if you did if you're here uh, definitely stop by Line 6 and check out these new products they're rocking. Alright thanks for watching take care bye. Good morning everybody! Morning! Oh, yeah. Woo! Well, I'm Paul Hangmarsh from Line 6, um, and welcome to the demo. So last year was a really, really exciting time for Line 6, as we introduced uh, Amplify and all the products that subsequently came from that. And we also introduced the idea of the tone cloud, and the way that you can have thousands and thousands of shared online tones that you've got instant access to. We also introduced the remote app for iOS devices and for Android devices, and that gives us a really uh, easy way of editing sounds, switching through different amp sounds, and dialing in the tone that you want to that you want to achieve. Also, last year we did the uh, we saw the partnership with, uh, with Yamaha, and inevitably there was going to be some really good products that came from that. And the first one we have here, so very expanded. Now obviously everybody knows that Yamaha are very, very good at making guitars, so we have a handcrafted Yamaha guitar here. Nice. Um, older body, it's available in three different colours, so we have a sunburst guitar, we have a black guitar, and we have a white guitar. Very, very comfortable C-shape, sort of satin finish neck on there as well. And as a guitar by itself, it sounds great, so let's have a listen to that. And I should probably say that one of the way I'm running this is from Firehawk straight into some L2 models. So, just the guitar by itself, no magnetic, just the magnetic pickups. That's over on the neck pickup. Okay, move up to the bridge, a bit more rock sound. sounding guitar just by itself, just using the Alnico pickups that are on there. Where the real kind of magic happens in terms of technology is when I press this switch down here. And what that's going to do is give us access to all of the HD models that we find in our other Variax guitars. So as I switch this in, the light's going to come on there, and that's indicated that these three pickups are now off, and we're actually doing it from the, 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 the bridge, the piezo pickup in the bridge. So let's have a listen to a couple of sounds from here. So first of all, I'm going to get a sound that we don't, we're not really familiar with coming from a guitar like this. So I'm going to turn this dial over to acoustic, and what I'll find is a J200 model. Okay, 12 string guitars are available in there as well. 
this kit, we've got a guild 12 string. And then we have more exotic instruments as well. So moving over to the resonator side, the sound that everybody loves in the variad. Obviously a choral sitar, even over onto a banjo. It's really kind of versatile and cool instrument there. Let's have a listen to some of the, the uh, more electric sounds. Over in the first position we'll find, I've got a team model which is a 1960s Telecaster Custom. It goes a bit more of a, a, a Fenry Plankian sound. So... So a Telecaster sound we get. Over on the Span sound, we have all the strats. So a 1959 Span the standard strat. It's hard to believe that that's actually a digital. That's a digital model. Move over to Les Paul. Now keeping the sound the same on the fireball, but what you're hearing there is it's, gonna, it's just pushing the, the, the pushing the process a little bit harder, so I'm getting more sustained. And now they're all HD models and we can edit those as well using the PC or a Mac and you can start to become a guitar luthier and change program all your own sounds in there. On the next part here, I have 11 different types of tuning. So any of those guitars that I select here, so if I want to take a, go back to that Strat sound, I can now instantly tune the guitar without actually physically retuning the strings uh, and drop down to E flat, to drop D flat, all those different tunings all in one guitar. So, there's my Strat in E. Move over, drop D. Let's try drop D flat. Yeah, that's instant. I'm not feeling any latency or any kind of lag when I'm doing that. I could even go for things like, if I was wanting to do some slide stuff, I don't have a slide here, I can't play slide, but if I did, I could actually go for something like an open D tuning. So in that instance, so it means I'm not shipped, I'm not carrying a lot of different guitars to a gig. Okay. And that will apply to the 12 string guitars now or anything like that. So, that is the Variac standard. See? Great playing, great quality guitar. Uh, the most affordable Variax yet as well, and it still includes all of the HD models from all of the HD models from our other Variax. The next new product I want to talk about is the Firehawk FX. So Firehawk FX is an HD uh, multi-effects unit, but with the iOS remote control that we saw, we've seen on the amplified products. The first thing that I noticed when I got this was just how cool it looks. You know, it's really colourful. It's really easy to read. It's really easy to say exactly what you do. On the top of the unit, we have uh, a bang up and down, there's 128 patches there, there we go. 128 patches in here, but because of the iOS remote control, that number of patches really is kind of limitless. It's kind of, you can go online, you can search for other tones, just like you can with Amplify. We have foot switches A, B, C, D, which are going to take us through those patches. Or we've also got the familiar sort of amp controls that you find, your drive, your main bit, your bass, your middle, your treble. And we've got the volume controls in there. Along the back of the unit, which you can't quite see, we have the Variax connection. 
which is really important now because it means we can actually incorporate the Variac sounds, including the tunings and the models, into each one of those patches. So if I want to do a search for maybe a Keith Richards sound, the guitar would come down as a Telecaster, and it would come down maybe as an open G tuning, and I'd have instant access to that sound, and I can recall it again. Okay. Um, we've also got an effects loop on there as well, and a sort of a, a range of inputs and outputs that um, makes it flexible for any situation, as well as the wah pedal, which is going to control your volume, your wah, your pitch, anything like that, any kind of MIDI parameter that you want to assign to that pedal. Okay. So, because of the remote app, Oh, sorry, one more thing I should say is the colour coding on this. Anybody who's familiar with the M series effects will be familiar with the idea... He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> it will be familiar with the idea that we always use the green colour for delays, filters were purple, uh, overdrive pedals were yellow. So now when I assign any of those effects to those five foot switches, I've got a really colourful array, but a really, not only a really colourful thing, it looks like a Christmas tree over there, but I can also instantly tell what my delay effects are and what all my effects are at, at, at one glance. So I'm going to switch over to the app now and show you just how easy it is to kind of dial in one of those sounds. So this is the, the amp page and we see that the actual, the way the signal path is running is running from the variant, so left to right, right through into the reverb there. And at the moment I'm just going to start changing some of those amps around and listen to some of those HD amp models that we've got from the from the other part. First of all, I'm going to change that and I'm going to go for one of the high gain amps. You see it's very, very visual. Let's change it amp over to a Soldano. Soldano clean. Let's go for a more dirty Soldano sound. Sounds pretty good straight away. Let's change some of those parameters around there. Let's change a little of the volume a little bit. And I've also got some of the power amp parameters there. Things like sag and hum that you would get on, on the, the more in-depth editing on the pod HD. Sounds really good. Yeah. I'm going to switch over to one of the British amps though. So I'm going to go for one of the Marshall kind of plexi sounds. Let's go into the categories. British amps. Let's try the box first. And let's try for that plexi. Let's have a bit more bottom to it. Right. And let's add maybe some tremolo effect to that. Again, very, very visual and very easy to see. So I'm currently in Univibe. A double click, power it up. And now I can assign that to the foot switch as well, and when, it is, when I transfer it over to the foot switch, it'll actually turn that foot switch blue as a modulation effect. Let's try adding, not that often, try some of the overdrives, maybe try an octave fuzz, see what that sounds like. I'm kind of getting the sound that I don't want to get. So last, let's have a look at that Variax parameter page. And over here, you'll see that this, the, 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 the software is actually learning what I want to control there. And the most important parameter, I think, really, or one of the most important parameters, If I slide my finger along there, I 
we put an A kind of tune in the low on the harp. Which means in terms of presets and patches, we have the thing we had before, where I can recall from Firehawk. <laughs> patch there with a telecaster. A little bit less ball and drop up, uh, open, uh, drop C. Because of the tone cloud, any patch that I actually have here, I can upload on that tone cloud. You could go home, and as soon as you've got one of these units, you have access to all of those effects. So just to round things off, I before I came out here, I put together a quick sort of medley of hopefully the sort of things that you could expect to get, or the way the uses that you could have with this with this product. So I'm going to stream the audio back from the iPad. So the it's like amplified, the audio is going to Bluetooth from there through the Firehawk, and then that's going back into the L2M um, the monitors. And I'll, I'll apologise now if I destroy anybody's favourite favourite songs.
very satisfied about playing Bark at the Moon and Ozzy Osbourne comes oh, up yeah. at the same time. <laughs> Thanks to those isolated tracks on YouTube. <laughs> thank you very much, I was Paul Highmarsh, and I'll be doing demos all throughout the day, so thank you for your time. Great ending. Nice.